Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Pisces, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Pisces, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Pisces spirit. Alright, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Pisces, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, six of swords in the upright. Well, somebody... Pisces, I feel one person is kind of getting a little exhausted, little, you know, kind of tired, giving up, saying things are not changing. I'm going to stop chasing this person anymore. While the other person, I think, is in hermit mode. They are stuck. They are trying to figure things out. They're going through a lot of heartbreak because they know they've done something wrong. And uh, finally, they feel like I ended up being the loser in the uh, bargain for whatever I did. So let's see what's going to happen then. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Pisces. But first, let's start with uh, asking the universe, what's truly going on, spirit, for, for Pisces and that person? What's going on with Pisces and that person? Why are they both feeling this way, spirit? What's the deeper meaning to why these two are feeling this way, spirit? All right, here it is. And the first card here says fate this connection is destined or fated so you guys were meant to meet each other maybe to teach each other some spiritual lessons balance there may be a need for equal give and take so i guess one person was wanting the equal give and take and the other person was keeping their options open or they were not ready to commit or something so unrequited you may not be on the same page right now all right, so now let's see why that's happening and if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be Pisces and then we'll do the clarification of these cards. So Pisces and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Right. let's take a few more from another deck Pisces Pisces and their person spirit Pisces and their person one more that's it and just a few more from a third deck as well Pisces and then we'll start the reading Pisces and their person spirit Pisces and their person all right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Pisces, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I just have other responsibilities to take care of. Maybe somebody was trying to avoid committing because, well, they felt they had too much on their plate. Have you moved on with someone else who treats you better than I did? That thought is so painful. I do talk about you. I'm sorry for the mind games I played. I know it was wrong. That's exactly what I said when I looked at the cards, right? Somebody feels, why did I play those mind games? I mean, I'm the one who finally became the loser. Here it is. I'm sorry for the mind games I played. I know it was wrong. I'm scared to reach out to you. I don't want to be reminded of you. You're too good for me. I'm learning that I can still have a great life without you. I'm trying to be the person that you see me to be. I never thought I could be that person. Losing hope in this connection. I'm sorry for the way I treated you before. I'm ashamed of it. I know you're my person. I want to reciprocate my love to you. 
Life is not easy without you. I recognized you the moment our eyes met for the first time. I've put things on hold now to re-evaluate our relationship. It breaks my heart to know that I broke your pure heart. All right, so these were some of your messages, Pisces. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, I'm going to, of course, take an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be for the viewer. Now, Pisces, you could be watching. Maybe your cross watchers here watching for your energy. So this blessing, guidance, advice, or a message is for the viewer. Uh, I feel uh, somebody here is losing faith in this connection. Sometimes we want something very desperately, but then we say, yeah, but it's never going to happen. You know, uh, I love them, but I know they won't love me back or something like that. So I think it's a matter of belief. You have to be very strong in your own self-belief towards whatever you want, if you want it to manifest. So the angels are requesting you, viewer, please keep that belief going. All right, now let's start. Let's start with person A's energy. And um, newcomers, please remember, these are not gender-based. I don't know which side you're on, nor do I want to know right now because I want to be fair to both sides. You can put it in the comments later as to which side you were and who, which sign the other person was. But for now, I'm going to be naming this side person A and this side person B. And remember now, these are not gender-based and uh, this could be anyone in your life, somebody you know very well, a soul bond, could be a love interest, spouse, ex, a secret crush, could be a family member, a co-worker, best friend, a relative or something. So use your judgment there. And uh, right now, I'm going to only focus on this side, which is person A. Once I'm done here, later we'll move to the other side. Let me just put one more light on. I think it's getting a little dark, very cloudy outside. All right, so person A, let's start with you. In your feelings, in your emotions, I see you in the hermit mode. Why is that? Oh yeah, this person is trying to now figure out how to express themselves. They know they have to speak their truth. They know they have to come and tell the other person something. Uh, they're scared to message though because the other person I think is not well, maybe talking to them or maybe they are scared to reach out. There, there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear which per person A is going through because they don't want to end up looking foolish or stupid or, you know, just go out there and blurt something which is in their heart and get to know that the other person is not even stuck on them, has already released them or doesn't want a commitment with them. They, they know that if they want something, they will have to speak. They will have to speak the secrets that they've been keeping in their heart if they want this reunion. So, uh, two of wands. What's the two of wands? What are you thinking? What are you planning? They're wondering how to get victory. They're wondering how do I get victory from the situation so that the past can be forgotten. So that we can turn around and you know, find the two of cups once again. Like, what can I do? What can I do? This person is standing at a crossroads trying to figure out how they can make the other person possibly, you know, not focus on the past, but focus on the future with them. Why do you feel this way, person A? Three of swords. Because I think in the past they know they did something which broke their person's heart. Yeah, they, they, they feel that the other person, who they are very attracted to, by the way, was taking all the action, but maybe they broke their heart. And now they feel that uh, maybe the other person sees them as toxic or has given up on them. Right now, they are understanding that all that they did, all the mind games that they played, finally, they're feeling like a loser. It's like, why did I even do all that? Uh, five of swords and rivers. Yeah, they ended up not just breaking that person's heart, but they ended up breaking their own heart, right? So they, they know they need to talk. They, need, they know they need to talk. They know they need to clear the air. But it's like, how do I do it? Like they're confused about the direction of their conversation as to how do I reveal myself to them? Maybe they have to also explain something about maybe keeping the other person as an option or treating the other person like one of their, their options or, you know, a friend or a friends with benefits or something. So they, they know that they have to now, they will have to now express everything to person B if they want a reconciliation, if they want this victory in their life with their person. So how do you see the connection now, person A? How do you see person B and how do you feel about this connection? Seven of Swords in reverse. 
they feel they feel everything just backfired on them yeah they feel that person moved on uh, has given up on them has released them completely is not holding on to this connection anymore and it's almost like whatever lying cheating behavior person a displayed it backfired on them in a big way where they ended up losing you know a long term partnership or a stability or the, even the promise of the, of the future because things are totally stagnant right now uh yeah this person is kind of uh, not feeling so empowered at the moment they know that their past behavior maybe this person was stubborn or rude or wanting everything to go their way has caused this uh, instability in this connection now they feel powerless and uh, they feel scared to even come forward with a message because somewhere they think that their apology will not be accepted they feel the other person has no longer waiting for them or sad about them uh, it was possibly in another partnership or something so they're scared to reach out spill their guts their heart and then be told uh, it's too too late all right so what action they will finally take i will open later pisces oops i've already opened it sorry sorry by mistake okay anyway so uh, we'll check that we'll clarify this card later let's go to the other side first see how person b is doing then we'll do the action cards together so person b in your feelings in your emotions i do see the nine of wands in reverse which tells me you are absolutely exhausted tired yeah given up they my person b says yeah they treated me like an option they kept kept uh, our connection a secret or they kept secrets from me and uh, i was the one who was trying yes they they are right i was the one who kept trying trying till i finally got exhausted because things were not changing they were not changing our connection was not changing and finally i lost i lost hope i lost hope i mean you know there's no strength left to this uh, connection and that's the reason i'm trying to now leave this connection behind or my sadness behind or the heartbreak behind and move on towards peace and happiness and joy within my own life uh, because i realized that uh, i was never at fault i was always loving and kind and generous and bringing a lot to the table but they didn't see my value and worth but i have to realize that i have to first see my own value and worth so i'm not going to be chasing them anymore om kara taro in fact i am Uh, very comfortable in my own space and i'm attracting in even more happiness into my life so they i think they were waiting for a long time for the other person to come forward and speak their truth that would have made them feel even more empowered but they feel they feel that they just didn't they didn't they didn't change their old ways i think some way heart of hearts person b was waiting for this communication to come in some honesty and truth to be told for maybe uh, you know a second chance to be brought into this connection i think they did pray and wait for a very very long time till i think they got tired and exhausted and said you know what i am in a connection where i'm always single so i might as well accept i'm single and uh, not be in that limbo land of am i in a connection am i not in a connection let me just accept that i am single and i am now going to focus on myself and not be an option in anyone's life i think that's what brought that uh, tower into this connection where person b realized their own value and worth and started to heal themselves maybe work on themselves maybe you know concentrate on their own finances or their own work or work with other people so person b tell me why why do you feel this way that you you know you're fed up or you're giving up uh queen of pentacles in reverse because they felt insulted i think uh, person b feels that uh, as much as i waited that sooner or later they they will call or they will beat or they will talk or they will express their truth they never did there was no communication regarding this subject ever and uh, that just made me feel undervalued and they made me feel i was not good enough as as if i was not a good enough life partner for them or something like that i, I think person b felt blocked by the other person and that's when they started to 
maybe tell their mind that yeah they don't, they don't want com commitment so maybe because they're just a player they only want passion they only want you know um, fun times with me and other people that's why they're not you know willing to talk about it somewhere person b also felt that person a was making them feel not good enough always playing mind games and keeping them waiting 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 but never ever giving them an offer that they deserved so right now i think person b has uh, stopped chasing they are looking good they're looking very empowered they're looking into their future and uh, changing their life around it's like yeah you know i have to transform my own life now because uh, they've realized that they are still very hot they are uh, uh, attracting a lot of attention they are excited about life once again they are now uh, following their own passions pulling in a lot of abundance for themselves uh, after acknowledging that I'm not going to focus on a false soulmate connection. So the uh, person B is now manifesting big time. They're manifesting a ten of cups. It's like I want a ten of cups. I want somebody who treats me right. I mean, who a uh, king of pentacles with to a queen of pentacles, where we can grow and have a long-lasting connection. I think person B has been lonely for a long time and uh, waiting for person A, and now they feel I don't want to make any unwise, foolish mistakes again. I want to now manifest one partner who's going to be there for the rest of my life because I deserve it. I'm worth it. So. person b tell me how do you see the connection now how do you see person a and how do you feel about this connection four of pentacles in reverse yeah person b says i've released this connection long time ago yeah i mean i did love them i did love them but they were always playing hot and cold with me and they never opened up their emotions to me so what's the point of them loving me if they're always going to push me away push me away i mean uh, i started then to realize that okay even if i love them i should also not pour into them and let let them take me for granted so i've also put a cup of you know lid on that cup of love uh, uh, that i was pouring into them con continuously and i'm saving it for myself or maybe some new love that will come my way yeah person b is healing now they are healing they have been stuck for a long time but they have now got a new perspective to uh, this connection that you know what i'm not waiting for an offer from them okay maybe we can just be friends or something but i'm not waiting for an offer from them anymore uh, that chapter of my life i am allowing to end because i don't have any belief left for this anymore in fact i'm more focused on a stable brand new beginning and hopefully with somebody really romantic and a new lover right so let's see what actions you guys will take then I'm going to take another deck for this one Pisces and while I shuffle these now my turn may I please request you remind you if you could just tap the thumbs up button uh, really helps the videos to circulate I've been told and uh, make keeps me motivated to do more videos for you and uh, newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in welcome to our omkara family So person A let's start with you action from your end towards person B or otherwise Three of wands in reverse I think person A is either to wanting to go back in time which they can't or they could be worried that the other person has completely turned their back on them let's see What's the three of wands in reverse for you Eight of wands Four of pentacles five of cups and the hanged man yeah this person is stuck they are feeling very very foolish and they're feeling very stuck at the moment somewhere they feel they want to communicate this person really wants to talk but somewhere in their mind they feel what's the point what's the point they start looking at all the bullshit they that happened in the past and they go right back into sadness and you know feeling regret and shame and guilt they feel even if i do try and talk to person b they are going to hold back they're going to hold back they're not going to give to me again it's almost like they also don't have any belief left that they can resurrect this connection so somewhere right right now i think they as much as they want a brand new beginning they want to take a risk in love they're a little afraid that the other person possibly has moved on to a brand new beginning they're very stressed out this person is losing sleep they are stressed out i think basically this person is drowning in their emotions and very 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 fearful they're fearful of the fact that what if the other person slams the door on their face and says you know what 
I've already packed my bags. I've already out. I've already found a new two of cups now. I'm very happy in my own life. I have a brand new lover. But that doesn't take away from the fact that person A actually can't th stop thinking about person B. All they can think about is, what if I could just go back in time? What if I just could just go back to them? This is my soulmate. I wish I could prove to them that I am their person. I am their person. I'm ready to step up. I'm ready to write by them. In fact, I want long-term partnership and commitment with them. They want to actually now come back and offer their whole heart. All right. So, person B, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise? Two of Pentacles. What's the Two of Pentacles? Are you still stuck between the past and the uh, future? What's the Two of Pentacles? Justice, Temperance, Ten of Swords, High Priestess, Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I think person B has secretly been waiting. They have been waiting that sooner or later person A will come and have that conversation. They are a little disappointed that the other person hasn't yet come forward. They haven't done right by them. They haven't tried to heal things with them. It's actually making person B feel very betrayed and very hurt. The silence is hurting person B more than anything else. I think they were hoping that person A would sooner or later come and offer them that partnership. So as much as they are trying to move forward, they are also keeping an eye on the past. They are still watching person A. Will they come forward? Will they ever say anything? Will they do right by me? Will they try and heal this connection with me but the silence is I think what is really disappointing person B and uh, now it's like I don't know I don't know whether they even loved me I don't know whether they even ever wanted me so it's kind of continuing to break person B B's heart as much as they're trying to heal they're still hurting over the fact that person A never even found it necessary to come and communicate with them and clear the air with them. I think person B was waiting for a very long time, but now they're trying to turn their back and move towards their own victory and success. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.